Hello everyone, welcome to the series of SPSS. This is Dr. Atman Shah. In this video, I'm going to discuss how to perform one-way repeated measures ANOVA in SPSS and its interpretation. You can find more videos on SPSS, Art Studio, Econometrics and Economics on my YouTube channel. So don't forget to subscribe. Now let's understand the idea of one-way repeated measures ANOVA. One-way repeated measures ANOVA is used to compare the performance of the same group of participants uh, in different conditions. So here we have three or more different conditions and we are interested to compare the performance of the same group of participants. So see this data. We are interested to know the effect of meditation on level of uh, depression. So I have the data uh, of uh, depression level after one month of meditation, after two months of meditation and after three months of meditation. So here we are collecting the data from the same observation at three different time points. After one month, after two months and after three months. And therefore, one way repeated measures ANOVA can be used. Now, what is the hypothesis in this case? The null hypothesis uh, says that there is no time effect or there is no significant uh, time effect of meditation on level of depression against the alternative hypothesis of significant effect. So go to analyze. In analyze, we have the option of general linear model. And in general linear model, select repeated measures. Again, go to analyze general linear model and repeated measures. So select repeated measures. Now here, what is our within subject factor name? So it is time. And we have three levels because we uh, have the data after one month, two months and three months. Suppose you have four labels, then you, you can write four. So after one month, two months, three months and four months. And click on add. So we are telling the uh, SPSS that our within subject factor is time. And in this factor, we have three labels. What is our uh, uh, major name? So it is depression. And click on add. If you, suppose you are working on anxiety level, so you can write anxiety. If you are working on uh, a variable uh, called teaching method, so you can write only method. That that depends on you. Whatever you, you can write, whatever you want to uh, write in the major name, and then click on define. Now we need to uh, define the within subjects variable. So select depression label after one month and move it to the within subjects variable box then after two months and after three months okay click on plots select time and move it to the horizontal axis and click on add so this will actually help us to visualize the difference if we have any Continue, click on EM means, select time, move it to the display means for, click on compare main effects and then select born Faraday. Continue, click on options and select descriptive statistics. Continue, okay. Output is generated in the uh, output window. So see here we have three uh, variables T1, T2 and T3. Here we have the descriptive statistics. So depression uh, level, mean of depression level after one month of meditation, two months of meditation, two months of meditation and three months of meditation. So the mean is 29.40, then 26.87, and then 
Now, before we uh, interpret the one-way ANOVA or one-way repeated measures ANOVA, we need to check the equality of variances, which is known as test for sphericity. So here we can see the SIG value, that is P value, is higher than 0 0.05. And therefore, variances of this within subjects factor is equal. There is no significant difference in variances of these three groups. That is T1, T2 and T3. Because this p-value is higher than 0 0.05. Now, let's see the result. So, here we are going to consider source time and sphericity assumed. If uh, sphericity is not assumed, if the equal variances assumption is violated, then you can use the remaining uh, tests, which are adjusted for a degree of freedom. So here sphericity assumed test is used. You can see the associated F ratio is 12.511 and associated P value is 0 0.000, which is less than 0 0.05. And therefore, we reject the null hypothesis. Since we reject the null hypothesis, we conclude that we have the significant effect of meditation on level of depression. Now let's see the multiple comparisons table or pairwise comparisons, this table. Now this pairwise comparisons table actually compares one group with remaining groups. So here our first group is 1 and you see the mean difference, it is 2.533, the associated SIG value is 0 0.78 and therefore it is not statistically significant. So there is no uh, difference between group 1 and group 2, that is after 1 month of meditation and after 2 months of uh, meditation. But we have the significant difference between 1 and 3. That is, after 1 month of meditation and after 3 months of meditation, because this mean difference of 5 is statistically significant because SIG value is 0 0.002 and it is less than 0 0.05. Similarly, you compare 2 and 1. It is same as 1 and 2. So, uh, the difference is not statistically significant. 2 and 3. Difference is statistically significant because the SIG value is 0 0.035, which is less than 0 0.05. And uh, C, group 3, so 1 and 3 is different and 3 and 2 is also different. So from this analysis, we can say that group 3 is different from 1 and 2. But first two groups are not significantly different from each other. See this uh, profile plots. Here we have time and on the other hand we have estimated marginal means. So from this uh, analysis we can, we can say that uh, the uh, meditation will help the uh, patients to reduce the uh, level of uh, depression. You can see the mean of level of depression decreases as we increase the time period. So that is the idea of one-way repeated measures ANOVA. If you find this video useful, kindly like, share, comment and subscribe. Thank you.